This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be checking out the 10 best free to play games to play in 2022. If you're new here, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to get the updates whenever we post. In 2022, we're getting new games from beloved studios, sequels to all time PC classics and the indie scene and growing more incalculably large and surprising than ever. And while 2021 was a good year for some games, it will pale in comparison to those being released in 2022. And with that being said, here are 10 upcoming free-to-play PC games for you to watch out for. Let us begin with Two Point Campus. Two Point Campus is all about that university life. Unlike curing patients of diseases like at Two Point Hospital, you get to build your dream campus and teach the youth of the future. You're not preparing them with boring skills like arithmetic or physics. No, no, no. In Two Point Campus, your students can participate in classes like night school and gastronomy. To assist you in your construction endeavors, Two Point Studios develop brand new, easy to use tools that can help you lay down paths in a cinch. Make sure you have enough money in your bank account before building the next Oxford University. Gotham Knights Surprise, surprise, the new Batman game takes place in the faintly lit alleyways and bustling streets of Gotham City, and it looks like there's a range of different neighborhoods to explore, yet you'll notice the Gotham Knights aren't operating out of the Batcave and instead are using Belfry as their new base. Set in a timeline where Batman had been presumably killed, follow the stories of Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin as they try to live up to the standards of their predecessor name and protect Gotham City, bring hope to its citizens, discipline to its cops, and beer to its criminals. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is the latest looter shooter from Gearbox Software, but it's not Borderlands 4. A spin-off from the main Borderlands series, it's a follow-up to the Borderlands 2 DLC Assault on Dragon Keep, with a bit more of a fantasy flavor than sci-fi. The specifics of Tiny Tina's Wonderland story are still under wraps, but it's clear what the gist of the story will be, and we know it immediately follows the beloved Borderlands 2 DLC Assault on Dragon Keep. In that expansion, Tiny Tina and the heroes of the first Borderlands game play a tabletop RPG called Bunkers and Badasses. Controlling the characters of Borderlands 2, they go on a fantasy adventure with Tiny Tina acting as Dungeon Master in her wildly unpredictable style. Arc 2 Arc 2 will bring its prehistoric multiplayer survival world our way at some point in 2022, and with that, expect more dinosaurs, more mounts, more hunting, more gathering, and more, um, Vin Diesel? That's correct, besides apparently being a fan of Studio Wildcard's first dino style survival map for the still popular Ark Survival Evolved, the Hollywood actor is on board for number two as an executive producer. There are a lot of different dinosaurs in Ark, but also other prehistoric or otherwise extinct creatures which you can not only make in your own large zoo, if you so wish, but also ride and breed. It's not all fun though, as the survival the game's title hints at is an essential point of the experience. Warhammer 40k Darktide Darktide is an upcoming first-person action game set in Warhammer Universe and adopts a similar style to the independent Swedish studio Fat Shark in the Warhammer Review 2. Set on the planet of Atoma Prime in a continent-sized, ultra-dense hive city named Tertrium, where the seeds of corruption threatens an overwhelming tide of darkness, players will be able to take control of a group of Imperial Guards under the control of the Inquisitor. It is up to you and your allies in the Inquisition to root out the enemy before the city succumbs to chaos. The game is not one where you arm yourself in ceramics and are an unstoppable force of nature, lacking in personality while plowing things through in the irrepressible way that spaceships do. Instead, in the Dark Tide story, you play a human figure, a vulnerable mortal figure. Rainbow Six Extraction Rainbow Six Extraction is a cooperative multiplayer game in which players must work together to combat and defeat a type of parasite-like aliens called the Archeans. Extraction is based around Siege's engine, meaning that it will boast the same tight gunplay and tactical options with loads of destructibility and options in the environment. 
There's also a roster of Siege's familiar operators to choose from, each bringing their own special abilities and tools to the table, along with a pool of weapons and gadgets that are shared between heroes. The game will also introduce players to an alien threat called the Archeans. Each mission or incursion sees players take on multiple objectives over a series of areas, some of them requiring intel gathering and others asking them to plant trackers on alien nests. Redfall Redfall will be an open-world action-adventure first-person shooter that features both single-player and cooperative multiplayer modes. Players can choose among four playable characters, each with unique backgrounds and abilities to fight against vampires as well as human enemies within the game. The game is set within the titular island of Redfall, Massachusetts. After a failed scientific experiment, a legion of vampires invaded and isolated the town from the outside world. Trapped inside Redfall, players must choose among four unique survivors, cryptozoologist and inventor Devinder Crowsley, telekinetic student Layla Ellison, combat engineer Remy De La Rosa, and supernatural sharpshooter Jacob Boyer, and slay their enemies, vampires, and humans alike. Company of Heroes 3 after fighting through the western and eastern fronts, Company of Heroes is now heading to the Mediterranean. You'll duke it out in a campaign set across Italy and North Africa has been teased as well, where you'll conquer territory, get into skirmishes, and fight bespoke battles. Company of Heroes 3's campaigns are turn-based and take place on huge maps evocative of total war. You'll have discrete objectives, but otherwise you can explore and conquer these maps however you want, letting you make your own route to victory. As you take more territory, you get more resources that can be spent on your troops. Each bit of territory gives you something, though taking advantage of it means you'll need to keep your supply lines open and a broken link will mean your units will suffer. Some locations also give you access to naval and air power, turning Company of Heroes 3 into a proper combined arms game. Ghostwire Tokyo Ghostwire Tokyo is a first-person action horror game where the player encounters an arrangement of demented supernatural beings throughout Tokyo. Strangely enough, it looks far more combat-oriented when compared to a survival horror experience like The Evil Within. Players will battle against ghastly beings, utilizing an assortment of unique-looking spells and abilities. Ghostwire Tokyo takes place somewhere in Tokyo, however, it is not a bustling, lively version of the city. Something mysterious is happening that has caused nearly every human to disappear. As a result, the player is traversing empty streets with the remnants of civilization still lingering. You'll find knocked over stools and cars mysteriously parked in the middle of the road with the only signs of life existing in the few creatures you encounter along your journey. Starfield as with Bethesda's previous game, crafting your character will have a large part of the game before you journey through space as you strive to answer humanity's greatest mystery. Bethesda has already built mega franchises with a formula in fantasy and post-apocalyptic settings, and we can't wait to see what they do with interstellar exploration. We don't know a whole lot about Starfield's story yet, like Skyrim in space, and will feature factions with the constellation, a group of human explorers being the main one, is how Todd Howard described it when and ask. It's been six years since Fallout 4 and Starfield has a lot to prove, but it already gets pointed out for being Bethesda's first new setting since packing up the Fallout mantle back in 2008. We're tempering our expectations, but Starfield's been in the cooker for a while, and love him or hate him, Bethesda RPGs have an incredible shelf life. Well, there you have it, 10 upcoming free-to-play games that would leave you crazy and waiting. Which of these do you think you'll be playing? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly Tokens, check out the links in the description.